Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, uh, I just want to let you guys know that I am going to be posting as much as I can. I know I haven't posted in a minute, uh, but it's because I am working a lot and going to school, so bear with me. But anyway, guys, today we're talking about Logan Paul and KSI. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why are we talking about two megastar YouTubers on a song theory channel about songs and theories and song theories. That's because technically Logan Paul and KSI are musicians. I'm gonna post right here how Logan Paul not only has been on the Billboard charts, so has KSI, and Logan Paul has also been recognized by the RIAA as a platinum selling record artist. Like, think about that. These guys put out music and they become platinum overnight. I'm just saying, right? I made a whole video about how I dislike YouTube rappers and stuff. Go take a look at that. But we are talking about them today because technically they are musicians. We're going to talk about that. Now, what we're talking about specifically is their boxing match that just happened recently. And I don't know if you saw the result of it, um, but KSI did win. Uh, now, the last round that they did was hated by all people because it was, they, okay. The reason I'm talking about this today is because, once again, we're talking about YouTubers and we're, I'm discussing the fact that YouTubers are doing whatever they can at this point to get into whatever industry they can get into. So first it's music, then it's the world of boxing. Like, what's next? Crochet? Like, are they just trying to figure out any way they can make money? It is incredible. So this scheme is KSI and Logan Paul going into boxing. Of course, you know, when you're a professional boxer or even signed to a company or you are sponsored by anybody, you get money for that. So, of course, Logan Paul and KSI did this fight for money, okay? You have big stars backing them uh, like, uh, you know, Floyd Mayweather and, you know, the, the uh, Federation of Boxing or whatever they're called. They all backed these two dudes and made them headline... Listen to what I'm saying. They made them headliners on a professional boxing ticket. Do you guys understand what that means? These YouTubers that started off making videos in their room, much like myself, they actually forayed themselves into the world of professional boxing. That to me just blows my mind as to how people have taken music and turned it into you know, just diss rap and, and diss tracks and just making fun of, to me, just making fun of hip-hop in general. To going into boxing, and I've seen a lot of articles about how these two have basically messed up the name for boxing and everything. What we're talking about today, I believe they are in cahoots, okay? So, anybody knows that the music industry is has been rife with controversy because there is one musician who hates another musician, and those musicians end up having a beef with each other, and then, in the end, they end up coming together and doing a show with one another. And, of course, everyone has to come because everyone wants to see them together, right? Okay. It's kind of the same thing, except Logan Paul and KSI took it to a whole other level, okay? These guys started their boxing match. They were arguing with each other back in like 2016, 2017. They were going back and forth. And then they made diss tracks about each other. These diss tracks ended up getting all sorts of attention and all sorts of streaming and, and numbers are going up. You're talking the millions and millions of listeners that listen to these songs, right? These aren't just their subscribers. These are people who are interested in their beef, okay? So then their argument, their you know beef went from rapping to, yo, I want to fight you. Let's box. So of course, like any good manipulator of social media, these guys got together and said, yo, let's do a whole deal where we go and we just trick everybody into thinking we hate each other and then we just box. Yo, who cares who wins or loses? Honestly, we're both getting paid a ridiculous amount of money. Let's just go into it and see what happens, okay? And that's kind of the deal that I have an issue with is these guys, man, they don't really care about boxing, right in terms of like the I think that they're serious about boxing because they trained I did see them train you see them sparring you see them working out I think they're serious in that to that degree but then you have to ask yourself is this just an elaborate act are we seeing these Instagram posts and videos of them working out just because they want to build the illusion right I think my issue with YouTube 
and just media in general. And I, I mentioned YouTube because it's more of a streamlined media and it's something that we have access to immediately. What I have an issue with is that people who are not truly passionate about one particular thing end up putting their hands in all different types of pots, right? So we all know that Logan Paul and KSI um, are not particularly interested in music. They just got into it because they saw that there was money, right? And I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, how do you know that? You know, who are you to say that? You know what I mean? You're, you're not God. You can't say what they're into and what they're not into. I kind of can because past experiences with their own content, you can look back at it. Logan Paul didn't do any music. This guy came from the, the website Vine. Remember Vine? R.I.P. He came from Vine, right? KSI, he's been on YouTube since like day one, 2006, 2008, something like that, right? These guys didn't have any musical content on their pages, period. If anything, they might have used copywritten music as like a prop for a background, but these guys weren't real music. They weren't real musicians. These guys had no interest in boxing. Look at any of their old content. I, I will link their channels below. You find me content where KSI was rapping and making his own music in his garage or basement when he first started YouTube. Show me a video where Logan Paul was making beats in his garage when no one knew who he was. You won't find it. You won't find it because it doesn't exist because these guys use music just like they use boxing for their own benefit. Guys, I wouldn't be surprised if they end up getting into the Olympics just to race each other so they can have another YouTube beef to see who can actually win a race and get a gold medal for the Americans in the Olympics. I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked. I can see them going on a race to see who can get to Mars first and Elon Musk is like sponsoring their flight to the planet. I just, this is what bugs me about YouTube. Right now, I'm not a YouTube drama guy. Right, look at my content. Okay, I'm clean. Right, I don't even cuss in my videos. Right, I do my best. I'm not sitting here saying that I hate them or you should hate them. What I'm saying is be very careful of the people who are on YouTube and creating content and making it seem like they're genuine about the content they make because they're just oftentimes they're not, and that's my biggest problem. I mean. I, I haven't read too many articles about how boxers feel about this, but I'm sure that anybody who's in a professional sport would feel some type of way when someone just arrives and they just do whatever they want. Think about this, right? I have friends personally, per people I know, who have been boxing for 10, 15 years and have still uh, not gotten to the professional degree. That's not to say they're bad. That's just to say that they are not well known. They're not super huge YouTube influencers, right? And conversely, I know people who, you know, are musicians and they are, they, they've been playing for years. I know this band, okay, they've been playing in Atlanta and around the country, they've been touring and they are still unknown. If I said their name right now, you wouldn't know, okay? And so when you look at people like Logan Paul, KSI, Jake Paul and all these other YouTubers, these guys have a platform and they use their platform for what? Not for the music that they've been trying to put out for decades. Not for a boxing career that they've been working on for years. These guys use YouTube to make more money. That's it. That's all it's used for. Now, am I saying it's a bad scheme? No. In fact, I'm, I'm saying the opposite. It's actually genius. And I'm not, I'm, listen, these guys are marketing geniuses. If anything, okay, they are like the number one way of how to market on social media. I'm not saying that they're wrong necessarily because I can't say that. What I can say is that it upsets me personally. I don't know how you feel about it, but it makes me upset that I know people who've been working for decades on their craft. They've been working for decades on their fighting skills and these guys just run up and just become platinum artists. They just become, you know, top listing on a boxing match. That's incredible to me. I mean, it's just like, how, that's not fair. You guys can't just run up and do that. You know, you guys are you guys are the guys who are on the internet and they make content for people to laugh at and enjoy, right? They were KSI was a gamer at first, a gamer. Okay, that's what he did. Logan Paul, he was a comedian sketch artist. That that's what they did, and they were good at it. So to see them thrust themselves upon an industry that they had no previous interest in. And quite frankly, they're not trying to pull anybody else up. There are no other musicians they're trying to pull up. There's no other boxers they're trying to introduce into the world of boxing. And of course, I'm only going off of what I see on social media. 
I don't see that. On Instagram, I see them posting pictures of them flexing. I see them posting pictures of them saying, I'm coming to get you. And finally, the boxing match happens. And of course, it wasn't a tie, right? Finally, thank God, KSI ended up winning. So yes, the beef is over, right? It's done. Oh, thank God. The beef is finally over and we can all relax and rest assured that these guys are not going to have another beef ever again, right? Right? No. Logan Paul not only has not accepted defeat, there are claims that he is thinking about a rematch, not only a rematch, but he is actually trying to appeal the previous match that they just had. Because, the story goes, during the boxing match, Logan Paul ended up hitting uh, KSI in the back of the head. Now, if you don't know anything about boxing, just know that you can't hit people in the back of the head, okay? He got two-point deduction. At the end of the rounds, at the end of the game, they were done, they were standing still, and what happened was Logan Paul ended up losing the match because of the hit to the back of KSI's head. So to Logan Paul and to a lot of his fans, they don't feel like he really lost, right? So, <laughs> it continues. That's all I'm saying, and it's agitating, and I'm, I'm just done with it. I'm just done with it. Pay-per-view. Did you know that Logan Paul and KSI got one of the highest pay-per-view fights ever in the history of pay-per-view fights? That, to me is incredibly disrespectful to the art of boxing. How many people have been put up on the list for top billing, working for decades to be boxers, sacrificing their life, essentially, their face, their, their health, to do what they do, and they didn't make anywhere than their, the numbers that KSI and Logan Paul made. Now, I'm not saying I'm hating on their success or anything like that. All I'm saying is I just, I just wish that if they have the success they have, right, and apparently they had these great music careers and this great platform. I just wish they would share it with people, right? It's like how we're all upset the millionaires are looking and they get all this money and the, the, the wealth gap in our country right here in America. We're, we're upset about that. We want the wealthy to give a little bit to the smaller guys, right? All I'm suggesting is I wish KSI and Logan Paul would give a little bit to the smaller guys, the guys who've been working for 10 plus years on their music, the guys who've been working for 10 plus years on their boxing, I want to see them pull those guys up and say, hey, everybody, I'm not a real boxer, but you know who is? This guy, this girl. I'm not a real musician, but you know who is? This guy, this girl, this group, something. I just wish that they would do that at the very least, right? Anyway, I'm getting off my soapbox. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you disagree with me, comment. You guys always do. I don't know why I ask you at this point. Like, y'all always make sure to comment and tell me what you don't like. This is what I will say. Anybody who actually likes what I just said and agrees with me, comment that. Because I'm, I'm about to, I mean, I, I don't mind seeing you guys' comments about what you don't like about what I said. But, like, I hear that all the time. Like, give me some positive feedback. Don't be afraid. Like the video. You know what else y'all like doing? Disliking my videos. Give me a break. Jesus, I want the people who like my stuff to be a little bit more vocal. Huh? Thank you. I mean, you're all important. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later.